morning, folks. Good morning. Very breezy this morning. Yeah, I've had to take, me, take my hat off because there's no sun in my eyes, but it nearly blew off twice. No, and lovely you're... blue skies, though. But my seat cover got wet in the night. I put it out to dry, and then it, uh, it blew. And luckily, I caught it. Yeah, it blew straight at her. Woo! So a short day yesterday because of the rain in the morning, three hours and one lock. But nice stopover at in Beer stop Town. Over, Although very, very disappointed the fact that the Beer Museum has closed down and is now becoming office space for a brewing company. Very disappointed. I wanted to see the Shire horses and everything. Yeah, well, but never uh, mind. Anyway, we're off to Ulra Wasp today. Yeah, it's a very funny sounding name, isn't it? Ulra yeah. Wasp. That's how it's, it's supposed uh, to be very nice though, so I'm looking forward to that. Right, I'm going to slow down. There's a big boat coming. Oh, big boat. And it's a bit narrow, so I'm going to stop filming and sort it out. Ooh, well, that was a bit of excitement for the morning. Yeah, but it was uh, quite narrow and there was a boat moored up and a boat coming and we also hit the same place at the same time. And but... the other bloke was going a little bit quick, not much. And Joe, chap in the moored boat, starts shouting abuse at him as he went past. Um, oh, oh well, it was going too fast. We have had a lot of that, people not um, slowing down. and our Mooring pins were nearly pulled out, weren't they? We... Okie dokie, let's drop that subject. Moored earlier. It's been... Anyway, it's very nice countryside round here. Very pleasantly surprised to say we're near a town and it really is lovely. Very right. Very nice. I'd, apart from the new brass museum gone. You seen what's ahead? Blue sky. No, in the canal. Lock. And there seems to be a queue because it's narrow locks and we've been told that this is a really slow to fill lock. It takes about 20 minutes to get through. I think it's because they're all nipping down to the village of Branston and buying some pickle. Maybe they are. And yeah. that Branston pickle don't come from Branston. It does. It? Does it? Well, the village of Branston is here, so yeah. anyway. Um, yeah, it's going more. Blimey, we'll win. Blown everywhere. Yeah, a bit of a queue at the lock. But I'll go and uh, moor up just before it. So, a bit of a queue at the lock. One boat in front of us. There's one in the lock going through. I think there's one just coming the other way. And apparently it's a very slow lock, so we might be here for quite a while. However, I've been to worse places. Seems very pleasant. Nice scenery. And the sun's coming out. So not too bad. So we're in the lock now, and uh, it's another one that's difficult, leaking, hard to undo the door, hard to undo the gate. Water leaks out fast and it fills up. Paddle on the right's broke. Oh, canals are in a right state. So we're out of the lock and uh, took a bit of help from a load of guys. Uh, it's so hard to undo it's the top gate. It's only a little one, but one of the paddles isn't working, so it's not getting out. It's leaking like crazy, not filling up. So uh, the, the guys behind, they know this lock. We said, yeah, it's been months like that with paddle broken. And um, they've put a block of wood to stop the top gate shutting fully. Because the bottom one's leak that quick, you'll soon empty it and it'll fill up quicker. It empties really, really fast. So that's a solution. I think we're going to have to prepare ourselves the rate the canals are going in future. With the a wrench. We need a block, winch. And, a winch of some kind, like a block and tack cover when you're stuck in a lock and you can't undo it. A piece of wood like that, 4 by 2 or something, to hold the lock, one of the lock gates, I think that helps. A big long crowbar or something. And it's a real shame. It's like the days when Rolt used to go along and nothing was working. When what used to go along? Tom Rolt. Oh, Tom Rolt. So, yeah, they're a bit disappointing this trip for maintenance of locks. Never mind. Do you know, the view that way is absolutely fabulous. It really is. No, if you go that way, yeah. look, look at that view. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look here, yuck. <laughs> Bunch of houses and no trees or anything to hide them or to well. make it look nicer. We're coming out of Burton now. I think uh, we've, we've... And I'm going to 
concentrate on because I'm being blown by the wind. So off into the next little lock. I love these ones, little tiny bridge, little humpback bridge. Entrance to the lock right next to it, the small gates. So much quicker, well the last one weren't quick because of the leaks, but so much quicker and easier. Very enjoyable. And just through here, there's a really nice lock house. Bed and breakfast lock house. Tatton Hill lock. Very nice. So we're just coming out of this lock and we can leave it open because there's a boat coming the other way. I've put the kettle on. It's a lovely day, the sun is out. It's all going pretty well so far. Fabulous! This is a really long straight section and um, not a lot going on, but what's this? A muffin, blueberry muffin and a cup of tea. So I'm overcut, I'm going to say it's boring, it's just very, very, very straight. But a cup of tea. My journey just improved measurably. Thank you, darling. What are you having with your tea? Ginger biscuit, a Ooh. ginger cupcake and a cup of tea. Excellent. Oh, that's a nice bridge. Yeah, it's nice. There's not, there's not a lot of dead straight things. It's about two mile long, I reckon, it's straight. Um, we've gone a long, long way. But it's picturesque enough, lots to see. Now, I know it's a narrow canal, which is fine, but um, this bridge, I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera yet, is so narrow. It's like going into a lock. Look how narrow that is. I think that's the narrowest bridge I've ever come across on my network. What do you reckon, Linda? Oh, my God. Oh, how lovely. So, there's very little spare room here. But it is beautiful. Look at that. Tiny. Well, we didn't waste bricks on that one, did they? I mean, there's literally about six inches either side. That's all you need. But that is the width of one of the locks. It does look lovely, doesn't it? Really nice. So we're in the next lock and the wind was dreadful. Blown us everywhere. A bit windy up there, isn't it? You're not jumping across, are you? Me? You're going to walk around? You can't. You have to walk all the way around there. Oh well. Not sure I like this. Well, we didn't hear a big splash, so that was something. <laughs> Very brave. You can't really walk round here. You have to walk all the way down there, all the way up there, and round there to get there. Okay. Right, we're at Winchnor. Winchnor Lock. Winchnor Lock, which has a bit of a funny story about it. Same as Dunmo in Essex. Yes. A man who can claim that he has not considered changing his wife or looking or... Not one to, not, can honestly say, say he's never thought about swapping his new wife for a different woman in the first year of marriage is entitled to claim... A flitch of bacon from the Lord of the Manor. And apparently this has never been <laughs> successfully claimed. I'm not sure how you judge it or who's in charge of this. It's well, never been who claimed. decides what you've thought or not thought, but it's interesting, nobody's claimed one. I'd have been able to claim it. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely. Um, no, that's, I mean, you couldn't think about Marilyn Monroe or anybody like that. Nobody. Nobody. Or the girl in photocopying. Oh, did I say that? You don't, you've never <laughs> had anybody in photo, you've never been anywhere where they photocopy. Anyway, the um, lock's about full. And, so we'll uh, get on. And it's Ulrawas next, isn't it, pretty soon? Yep. 
So we're going to moor El Rawas and have a look around the town. So I see a lovely church peeping over the hill, over the hedge. Right on the top of the hill, it's really positioned lovely there. Shame the hedges in a way. And ahead we've got a narrow bridge. And it really is quite narrow. Don't go left, go right. And there's a barrier sticking out. So I'll need to concentrate on this bit. And apparently we joined a river trend very soon afterwards and there's currents and a wheel. So I'm gonna put the camera down and concentrate. You can see the current from here, wow. Very rural, <laughs> clearly. And uh, there's loads of these little bridges. It's very sort of marshy area. There's bridges off all over the place. Seven of them just along this little straight. Yeah, they're numbered, aren't they? 45A, 45B, C, D, E. We've been past quite a few. Most of them, you can see the water going through quite clearly. This one's a bit overgrown. 45F, yeah. And you can probably see from the sign up there, don't go left, there's a weir with a boat dropping off the end, so I bet on the picture, I better ignore, ignore that, and uh, or not do that. Keep right, all craft. So there's the weir. You don't want to go there. I do not want to go there. Which way is the wind blowing me? Uh, yeah, pretty much that way. Well, at least I can't get through them gaps if a boat gets blown that way. I'm going to speed up the engine power, uh, en bleh, speed up the uh, engine a bit. We're a bit slow in this wind and um, have a bit more drivability past this weir in the current. Right, a bit more on. <laughs> you are struggling with that. Old Rawas. So, oh, we've got the flow over that weir, Linda. Do not want to go that way. So that's the Trent that's back there. We're now sort of off the Trent again really, onto this little canal section. And there's the lock. And that takes us into the town of Olruwas. God, this wind is blowing me all over the place. And um, then we're out of these currents and weirs for a bit. So another boat's just come into the lock, which is handy, just as we pulled up. The lock was already filled, or they just filled it. So they'll come down, Linda's helping. And then we can go straight into an open lock. Excellent. So we're out of the lock. And um, over here now, apparently there's a fair bit of mooring around. We'll see. So we've um, got to all of us and plenty of mooring, weren't we? Plenty of mooring, very windy. Yeah, I've been blown around a bit, come out of that lock. Yeah. I need to get my height back down here now. Yeah, that's yeah. better. And also, it's amazing, we saw this great big plane carrying this other little plane. Like, towing it, not carrying it. Towing it, but they weren't, it wasn't a glider or something. Military like. thing, it was weren't it? It had thing. props so on. So we're waiting to see if we then can see it again. It flew by by itself after that. Maybe, yeah. maybe we're refuelling, actually. Practicing refuelling. Anyway, we're in Alderabas, we're going to have a look around the town. It looks lovely. I'll show you our surroundings. So there's obviously Linda. <laughs> and uh, that's where we've come from that direction. And we're now off around that bend into the town. Let's go and have a look. So Spitfire flying over. I like this village or town. Whoa. We've had a walk around Olrawas and it really is the definition in this place of a sleepy English village. It's 20 past three on a Saturday. There's four pubs, I mean three pubs, a few people in each, not a lot. The odd car going past. There's one. Um, local butchers and just the odd little shops better around. Here it is. Um, yeah, tiny little place, a lovely traditional butchers, where are we? Over there, traditional butchers, went in there, they were just shutting up but it looks absolutely gorgeous. So uh, yeah, give it, a, give it a look folks if you come here. George and the Dragon Pub, I think that's one we're going to tonight. 
there's a William IV behind me off to the right. Um, what's this? Another hair and beauty shop. Not the one Linda's managed to squeeze into. So I'm going to walk back to the boat while Linda gets her hair done and uh, have a nice relaxing afternoon. So let's walk back to the boat and uh, you see the three on the right, mine's the furthest one. You can just about see our um, flowers on the roof. Nice quiet little spot in a lovely little village. Good, Good evening. evening. Well, we've had a lovely day haven't we? Lovely day. Olrawas. Linda does. It's a lovely little village. Olrawas. <laughs> Linda does struggle with that. But um, we had about three hours travelling. As you say, we had a lovely day overall. Linda's had a hair done. Doesn't it look nice? We've got our glad rags on. We're off to the pub for a nice meal. So we've had an excellent day. And the weather's been lovely, apart from the wind. And then tomorrow we're off down the Coventry Canal after stopping at Fingy Junction. What's it called? Fradley. So, yeah, that's, we're off for a lovely night. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this week's vlog, you know what to do. Press like. And subscribe if you don't already. See you next week, folks. Bye. Bye.